Okay, what's up, everybody? Uh, I hope everyone's doing well. Welcome back to my Patreon, here with another lesson. I've been getting a lot of requests to do a lesson on soloing and kind of my approach. And um, so I've kind of tried to uh, compile some of, some of my ideas on soloing and improvisation. Um, I don't think there's necessarily like one answer I can give to anybody because, you know, soloing is like you really your fingerprint on the guitar. So, um, you know, it's so uh, for every every individual has their own unique um, approach and sound. But I do have some uh, things that I do look for and I think everyone can apply to their soloing to sort of make it listen more listenable and um, kind of flow better. Um, the first overarching thing I can say in terms of soloing is to think like a vocalist. Uh, I think sometimes we can forget that um, the instrument uh, we play is, we, we, we tend to get caught up in the instrument and thinking of frets and dots and shapes, but um, I think if you think about it in terms of like a voice, because the voice is the most um, it, it's a very uh, unadulterated way of uh, expressing yourself because you don't have to think about scales or shapes or anything really um, as much as on other instruments. And I think other instruments can kind of hold us back because they make us think in terms of different geometry and stuff. So basically, think like a vocalist is all I have to say. Vocalists, you know, when they are approaching a performance, they they uh sprinkle out the the like the dust whatever i call like this magic dust throughout the solo like um or or, or throughout the piece you don't you don't want to give your audience everything at once and you want to make it listenable cuz um and i've heard john mayer say this like if a vocalist started out just like belting it'd be like okay that's insane but like where where else are we going to go cuz like you just belted and now like there's like nothing really left in you to give us that'll make us happy it's like basically you give us like the hardest drug and then like now we're just depressed <laughs> not really but um basically yeah and so a technical thing that a singer is, does is they stick to a certain register and they'll stay there for a little bit like you can stay there for four bars eight bars or whatever until like the next big one comes around so an example of this is in one of my most recent videos, which I called Take You Home. And um, basically in the beginning, I try to stay in in one area for a little bit. So I, I start off with, I do two licks kind of in the same place. You know, like, it's... Um, it's and I think in technical terms you call it phrases and you can um, I was just actually reading about this in school in my textbook my music textbook but you can, it's called parallel parallel phrases and you'll see it in um, in like a lot of hymnal songs um, and I know this is kind of getting uh, you know wordy but for example like Amazing Grace it's uh, you, you have <laughs> That was phrase one. So basically you do a phrase and then the next phrase you start like the phrase you just played and then you do a variation on it. I think that's, I mean, it's ob it's a tried and true thing because if you look at like Baptist hymnals or really any music you'll see in church and just a lot of music in general, uh, you'll see this because it's, it's very, it creates a motif and gives the listener something to hold on to. And this is totally something that should be used in soloing. So that's the first part of this lesson, I guess, is to, I guess, approach it like a sing, approach your solos like a singer, but also just like in a musical way. Because, you know, you can, you can like do like, and I do do this, you know, where you just kind of fly around because it's fun to do, but like, <laughs> like, I'm not getting much like uh, information from that. I'm like getting some licks, but like, um, that I'll have to steal later, but <laughs> no, but, um, 
I, you're not getting a lot of like substantive information. Like honestly, it'll get old if that's all you do is like the shreddy stuff. But um, but like something you can do, and I'll, I'll try to make this up on the spot. Is just like. <laughs> I'm trying to, I was actually like hearing lyrics in my head. And that's another thing is you can think of lyrics in your head while you're singing. Like it's sometimes fun to just like, you know, if you're like sitting around with like an acoustic guitar to just like improvise a song. I do that sometimes. (laughs) And, um, but like basically, basically this whole thing is that like your, your voice is never stopping. It's like, it's, you're not getting, you're not getting, um, held back by, by like the guitar being there. You just have to play simple phrases. Not always, but just make it musical. That's that's really just all, all I can say. Okay, so the last thing um, I guess I want to say is don't be afraid to take risks in your solos. And uh, just totally listen to yourself and your instinct. Um, uh, it, it's, a, it's a super important thing, I think, to keep that musical spark in you and your inner voice alive is to listen to it even if you're like uh really like is that really what i want to be doing uh and uh, like you're like how am i gonna pull off what i'm hearing in my head still like try to do it because like making a mistake when you're soloing like it's like really not a big deal and it like <clears throat> like I- i've been thinking like recently like i've like virtual instruments are becoming so huge and even more and more, there's, like, virtual guitar instruments. And, like, I've just been thinking, like, how, how are we going to, like, uh, like, distinguish ourselves from the robots, basically. The way we're going to distinguish ourselves from the robots is to make mistakes. Unless the robots start making s- mistakes, too, and then we're screwed. But um, I don't know what Elon Musk has up his sleeve. Please just save us. Have mercy on us, Elon but um, basically, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Trust your inner voice. It's the thing that guides you. It's like your musical conscience. And you want to, if you, if you don't listen to it and you just play, you know, stuff you always play, it, don't, it might, you know, it might fade away. You know, I don't know. But to keep it alive, and I try to keep it alive by doing stuff that I don't necessarily know how I'm going to achieve. Like, I'll try, like, to do, like, triplet stuff and like fast stuff that I'm like I do not know how to do this but I'm gonna try it and then go back and you know try and do it later you know like perfect it like something I've been trying to do is like like just like fast like picking and stuff like and like in a solo I'll be like okay what am I about to do like 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 I don't know what that is but like I've you know what I mean like just Try things you never tried before, and if, like, your inner voice wants you to do it, do it. And I know, like, a lot of these things are kind of, like, sound out there, but, like, there's really no way to, like, for me to, like, personally say, like, okay, this is how you solo better. It's more just concepts. It's kind of the nature of this part of the game of guitar. It's, like, it's, this is where you get to more of, like, the, I guess, the jedi stuff, stuff, because, like, because you're trying to tap into your, like, inner voice and such. And, and like it's not it's no longer like which fret do you play like because this is where you then it's you can like you just have to be equipped with the tools i guess to express yourself and express what you want to express what's up everybody if you want to find the rest of this lesson as well as have access to other lessons and all my backing tracks go to my patreon the link is in the description hope to see you all there thank you very much